Assalamu alaikum. Hi, I'm Trevor, and I'm a recent converted Muslim. I was Christian all my life. I even went to Christian school. This is my very first Bible. I've had it since 1989. It was given to me by a teacher there, Sister Mary Pope. All my life, I've been a Christian, up until recently. Two years ago, I was introduced to Islam. I had heard about it, of course, on TV and after September 11th and everything else. And the way my family and friends and everybody else talked about it always, it always sounded like it was bad and had something wrong with it. And I was never really sure about it. Until two years ago when I met a good friend of mine, yes, and he is from Jordan. We have become close friends. I would almost call him a brother in life of real family now. He brought me back a Quran. He went home to Jordan, and me, not expecting it, I asked him to get me some souvenirs. <coughs> Thought maybe I'd get a keychain or something like that, like most people bring back. He brought me back <coughs> the glorious Quran. Now this Quran, when I first got it, it seemed like it was just a book to me. Well, I started reading it. Surah number one is my almost all-time favorite. There's every one of them else in here is beautiful and lovely, and I believe every bit of it, 100%, is from the Word of God. Allahu Akbar. His father-in-law, who doesn't know me, who lives in Jordan, had this very same Quran 20 years ago when he was in college. He took this Quran with him to the Hajj. He went twice. This is from the, a stamp from the hotel from across the street from the Hajj. I felt very, very special for it being given to me. For someone who does, he doesn't even know to give this. And my buddy Yezin said his only words to me was to read it and to enjoy it. So I started reading it. And the only part that I very first understood was Bismillah ar-Rahim ar-Rahim. And I apologize if I said it in any wrong way. I do not speak Arabic, nor do I read it. My buddy, Yezin, he has been teaching me, and also I have bought some programs to slowly learn. And, inshallah, I will learn. So, today I'm making just a real quick video to introduce myself, and I will make more videos because time comes on. Uh, but, to get back to the main reason... I never really understood a whole lot about the Christian religion, even though I read the whole entire Bible front to cover several times. Went to Christian school for several years, and the school still is open, but redistricting and stuff like that, and I've changed schools. And, uh, well, I never understood why Jesus should uh, die for my sins, and he should be responsible for my sins, and, I, and stuff, and just other things like that. The Trinity, and. Just lots of other questions in general. I was never really like 100% clear on. So I started asking questions and stuff like that. And then eventually it led to where my friend brought me the Quran. And now today, I believe 100% every word in that book is from God. There's no doubt in my heart. You know, there's times when I actually look at it and I read it. And it brings tears to my eyes because it feels so good to once, for, for real, for once. To feel like I've been told the truth. I'm only 24, but I feel like I've been lied to about so many different things. Not just about, like, the Christian religion, but everything else. You know, people you come into everyday contact lie to you about different things. But for once, it feels like I got the word, the truth, and it feels good about it. But yet, then I live here where I live. I live in Florida. And, uh, I don't know, my family, my mom really doesn't like the fact that I'm going to become a Muslim. She, uh really does not agree with it at all. Uh, we have had several, I've tried to just talk to her about it, and it's been, it turns out to be more like arguments, but we've tried to talk it out, and it just doesn't. But I still love her, and will always, you know, obey her in my best ways. And nothing will ever change for me how I feel about her, no matter how she yells at me or treats me sometimes. But that's okay. She's Christian and she feels like I'm doing the worst thing in the world. And I feel like I'm doing the best thing and the most right thing. So we have our disagreements. And I'm sure we will work through it. Yeah, inshallah. Well, I'm just going to cut this short now. I will make another one or some more in a time. I recommend, uh, or actually no, I recommend, I ask you all to please comment on this video. 
Uh, let me know you what you think about it. If there's any corrections or anything that needs to be corrected, let me know because I want to try to be a good Muslim and live the most best full, best life I can possible. And I need your guys' help too, my Muslim brothers and sisters. Any type of advice you have for me, I would gladly take it. And I'm also looking for more friends in general and also some Muslim friends. So this way when I have questions, I can have someone else to ask to, someone to turn to. I thank you for your time, and you all have a good day. Assalamu alaikum.